guys! So in today's video, I was thinking that I would put together a little compilation of how to wear colour. So not like extravagant colourful makeup looks, but like subtle ways to just incorporate a little bit of colour into your everyday life. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then stay tuned! So I know that for some people colour is a little bit scary and they don't feel comfortable wearing loads and loads of like colourful eyeshadow, a bright lip, they, they just don't feel comfortable doing that but I'm just going to show you a few ways to subtly have colour introduced into your makeup. So then you can work your way up to that if you want to or you can just stick with the nice little hints of colour here and there to just jazz yourself up a little bit. So the first little makeup tip for colour is using a coloured liner. Instead of the brown or the black, a coloured liner is just a really, really quick and easy way to introduce a pop of colour into your makeup looks. So. I'm going to be using the Suva UV Taffies and this is the um, like the palette. So as you can see here you've got a purple, a pink, a green, a yellow and a blue and these are just like water activated liners, dip a bit of water in, flick it on and you're done. So I'm just going to use the pink which is called Bubble Butt and I'm literally just going to use that to line my eyes. So I'm literally just going to use a tiny, tiny paintbrush for this and all I'm going to do is put some water into the palette. So there we have it in the palette there, the water's on, it's mixing into a nice liquid liner and then I'm literally just going to line it. And you can actually use pretty much anything as a liquid liner, like any of your eyeshadow palettes. So you can use um, a mixing medium, um, for example, the Inglot Geraline. You can mix that in with your eyeshadows, your pigments, anything like that. And all that does is just creates a waterproof liner. Um, so if you didn't want to buy loads of different coloured liners, you could literally just use that. Or if you have any of the P. Louise paints, the P. Louise bases, like the coloured bases, you can use them. NYX do really, really good liquid liners. So they are really, really easily accessible. And yeah, it's just a nice little pop of colour. So that liner is on and as you can see it is just really really subtle, it's just a nice easy way to have a bit of colour and this can be paired up with a black liner as well for more definition, a white liner, you can use another coloured liner to have little accents here. Literally you can do so much with liner and not a lot of people really do like and I think it's so nice to see like somebody who's, who's put a little bit of effort in with the liner and stuff like I'm one of those people that's like oh I like your liner today like it's just it's just nice. So as I was just saying about like adding like a liner to accentuate um, the flicks and things like that here I'm just gonna add a black um, accent here on the wing and I'm just using the Inglot um, gel liner and I'm literally just going and drawing a wing under that pink liner. Like that. So at the end of the day guys, makeup washes off. So if you want to have fun with it, you can do and this is just a little helpful hint of how you can push yourself out of your boundaries a little bit without going absolutely insane. So for the next way on how to add a little bit of colour, colour in the waterline. So any sort of like a little bit of eyeliner, the P. Louise base, the P. Louise paints, anything like that in the waterline is a surefire way to just add a little bit of colour into your look. So I'm going to be going in with the P. Louise coloured base in the shade OTT Orange and all I'm going to do is 
add a little bit of that onto the back of my hand, get a brush, just a tiny, tiny detail of brush and add that to my waterline. So I've just added that there and the P. Louise bases and paints are a fantastic product for in the water line because they are actually waterproof so that you don't have any of this like transfer into like the inner corner and having that little like eye buggy situation. You don't have any of that. So this is like a really, really quick and clever way of just adding a little bit of colour and knowing that it's going to stay put. Also adding colour to the bottom lash line is a really, really easy trick. So I'm just taking an orange. And I'm running it on that lower lash line. And you can even add another colour under that. So I'm actually going to take a yellow as well. And just really, really smoke that out. If you can hear what seems to be a bean bag being thrown about, that is the dogs. So I've just added some mascara to the bottom lashes and a hint of eyeliner just to really really complete that so that's another two ways on how to add color so here's the next one another little idea inner corner now the inner corner is just a tiny tiny bit of your eye but it can really make your actual eye color stand out bearing in mind like you can use any color that you want in your eye but complementary colors can work really really well too for today i think i'm going to try and match the outfit so so I'm gonna take my Beauty Bay Brights palette and I'm gonna go in first of all with a little bit of this Daydream and I'm taking that on like a small sort of packing brush and I'm going straight in and literally just add in tiniest tiniest bit to that inner corner and look at that, like straight away, that just looks so cool. So literally where you would normally put that inner corner highlight, if you do inner corner highlight, pop it straight there. And we're looking, we're looking interesting. So then all I'm gonna do is literally take like a full, small fluffy brush and just blend those edges. Just so it's a little bit more cohesive like it's not just a stamp of colour it's almost like a little hint of colour now you can build it up like as much as you want I kind of like it when I wear something like this to, to pop a little bit to be blended but still to still pop quite a bit and then if you want to even be just a smidge extra you can add a shimmer just to the very, very, very inner corner. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be taking the shade Lagoon, which is this blue shimmer on a really, really tiny detail brush. I'm actually gonna wet my brush to really, really pick up that shimmer and make it really, really reflective once I place it on my eye. And there. And yeah, there we have it. That just little tiny bit pop is another way to be able to introduce colour into just an everyday makeup look. So next up is using browns and colour on the inner third of the eye for a sort of neutral plus colour eyeshadow look. So really really easy, take your brown that you want to use, I'm just going to use the Beauty Bay 42 Brights palette and I'm taking this preppy pecan shade. I'll just make sure that my eyes aren't creased. And I'm just taking that shade and all I'm going to do is run it along the outer third and take it up into that crease. And just smoking it out, blending it out, nice and soft. Just like so. And just making sure that that outer edge is 
where it's at its darkest and then just lightly going over into the inner third with a light hand just to add a small wash of colour over there. And then it's just a case of going in with whichever colour you want to use on this inner third of your eye. I'm going to use Hello Sunshine from the palette, which is the yellow. Taking that on, it's a biggish, fluffy, sort of fluffy, sort of flat brush, and I'm just pressing that in right on that inner third. Taking it up to meet that brown and across the lid and just blending to make sure that everything is nice and seamless and that is literally it then add as much shadow as you want to like up that vibrancy so to speak but yeah any sort any color blends into brown really you can get that really, really nice blend. And then if you think you've maybe gone a bit too far with that colour, you can just go back in with your brown and get everything looking a little bit more neutral if you don't want too much colour. It's just a comfort thing, really. If you're comfortable having quite a significant amount of colour on your lid or... If you're just wanting something a little bit more subdued. But that is it. So I'll just do the other eye, add some mascara, and then I'll show you how we're looking. And there we have it, guys. There are just a few simple, quick, easy ways of wearing colour. Nice, wearable looks that aren't too shocking, aren't too out there. They're just a little bit of hint of colour and it's just a brighten your day sort of thing. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up if you can. It would really, really help me out. And also subscribe if you are already because half of my viewers are not even subscribed and you're clearly coming back. So just a big, big thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay safe, stay well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.